Hey, do you know how to take apart a Yugo M48 Mauser? Well, let me show you. It doesn't take a lot to take apart a Mauser. An M48 goes apart just like most other Mausers. You're just going to need a flathead screwdriver, a wooden dowel or a wooden block, maybe a hammer or a flashlight, but really not a whole lot. So let's get to taking this thing apart. Okay, well to start off with, to remove the bolt, you can just pull this right here and grab that, flip that up, and then the bolt will come in and out. We want to have the bolt in that position right there on the flag to be able to get it out. Okay, we're gonna see this little bit right there that we can push. So we're gonna push that down, bring this forward. That will go over that. We start getting that that way. Now let us get this off right here. Okay, so now that we got this out of here, let's take a wood block. We we'll use wood or something soft there because that's your firing pin and we don't want to break the firing pin. You're going to stick it on the wood block there. You're going to grab this like this and pull down and you've got to pull this section down here to where this piece, that, that bit of it right there is below that. So this is going to pull down and then what will happen is this will then turn 90 degrees either direction it'll turn 90 degrees and then go off then you can slowly raise this off and go off of there i can put my finger right here on that and on this it may take two hands get all the way down then that can turn go off and then that can slowly go up and we'll see that i pushed a good hole into this soft wood but that's okay this is a very soft wood that soft wood that won't hurt it I can come off this right here can then come out like that and that's pretty much got your bolt as much as you want to take it apart there so back together is just kind of reversing the process I'm just put that in there like so take this put that on it and take our wood block and have that there when you're putting this back down on there make sure that this stays in that position there because this can flop around freely it needs to stay up like that by the time that you lock it now if you pull the spring down here you'll see that this is not round there. it's got a little little sides on it there and you'll see that that shape of that right there will match the shape of this right inside there. So you gotta put that at the angle that it will go in. Have this guy handy to grab real quick so you can so that you can stick it on. It will stick on off to one side or the other, either nine that way or that way there, not straight off like it will end up that's the position you got to turn it into so it will be push this down put that on turn it into that position right there then this can slowly ride up and that's back together there then this will just go back in like that and it will thread back together once again, this and that nice locked piece there until it clicks all the way. It'll get to there. Can't go anymore. That's back together. Okay, so to get with this here, push down on that. Yeah, there we go. That'll come out and we get that out of there. Now we have right here and right here. We've kind of got like this little locking screw thing going on there you want to turn the little screw into a position that the big one can actually move around in so you need that slot there opening on it just for that to line up like so 
and it's just going to be um, take this screw out just like that the screw here we need to do the same thing turn this guy around to where this one can now turn Then gonna need to get these barrel bands off. Now this is gonna get kind of interesting to get this off. But as you push this down here, you'll see as you push this, that that bit right there will kind of go up and down. And so to get this off and get that pushed down, I have such a hard time pushing that that we're gonna do something kind of weird here. We're gonna take our piece of wood, we're gonna put it in a sock. You're like, what? Yeah, just, just follow me here, guys, okay? We'll go ahead and we'll wrap, we'll wrap this around here. What that's gonna do is help uh, keep this spring from flying off, because there's a lot of pressure on this spring. And then we're gonna do something crazy here. Yes, I'm seriously doing this. We're gonna take a C-clamp here. We're gonna put that on the bottom of the wood there. This piece right here we want to make sure it's just over that there. Okay, we don't want to put it into the wood. You want to make sure that your wood block and everything is not sitting underneath the cap right there. So we'll do this. And as we start bringing that down, We'll see here that we'll get to a point where we push that and we'll see that it has now pushed this piece down in there. That piece is down and we can also see a little bit of gap there between that spring and that. So now we just got to get this guy off of here. Yeah, let's get this cleaning rod out of the way. That might be part of it. I don't know that the cleaning rod's going to block anything. It's probably just best to not have it there. And we'll just use some wooden dowels for this because we're just going to knock this guy off. A little spot right there. Kind of put things in the way, but we'll see what we can do here. There we go. There we go. Let me start to get that a little bit. And what we'll do is we'll hold this along here. And you see that pop up right there, which is why you wanted this sock rag or something around it there. Um, I said it'll come off right there. Um, to get this off, you would need to remove your front hood. Um, and um, as far as removing the front hood, um, the advice on that is don't. Yeah, just don't do it. If you find yourself having to take it on and off, getting it back on can be a bear because you got to get it split open enough that it can go on there. Uh, what I ended up having to do in my case was get it upside down where the gap was, wedge something into it, to get the gap bigger, then take a dowel and wedge going that way so that um, it's opened up but into the wood then. Then I was able to position it over it and knock it on there. It took me like about 40 minutes to get the thing on there. So yeah, just don't don't take the, the front hood on. You can just deal with that right there. Go back to this guy now. Now we can get here and we'll just knock on this guy right there on the um, sling loop. That's like the easiest spot to do this. This guy shouldn't be nearly as big a problem as the other one there because it goes pretty freely. This isn't 
open enough. There we go. That can go off right there. Now the last thing we got to do to get this off is this screw right here. This doesn't remove the whole sight, just removes this screw. Now what you can do, you can pull up and lift on this. There's a clip here that goes around and clamps onto the barrel. I'm going to show you what's going on with that here. Let me get this off. Um, actually, let's raise this up here so it's out of the way. I'm going to have this up. Right there. So it's just a clip. And there we go. I'm going to rotate that. And then you can see what I'm talking about. It's just a little metal clip that clamps onto that right there. That's all that's going on with that. Okay, then this whole thing here looks out of the stock like that. And then take this guy. There we go. If that guy doesn't want to go out, you can push it there. It gives you the bottom. That's all that you got there as far as getting this all apart. So, back together. Just putting this into there. I'm going to take our barrel receiver here. The trigger will just go right nicely into that hole through there. And what we'll do is we'll flip this over. And I'm going to go ahead and put this on here first. And the reason I put this in here first is because that way you get the screws hold the receiver in place. So you're not having to do that yourself while you're dinking with the, um, the upper hand guard, um, which is going to be a whole lot easier. That will go in and tighten there. That will go and tighten. And then what we'll do is we'll back this off just a bit to where lines up with that so then we can turn that guy around the same thing here a lot of people think these um oh, these little lock screws are just kind of redundant maybe they are but it holds it in there fine it's got that in there i'm going to take this guy i can go in like so Push this, push this in there and then just kind of forward and locks in there. And now that's got that whole barrel and receiver held in place. So you're not having to deal with it. All right, this goes back up. We get this guy through there. You can see the scratches on there where this clip has to go on. So it's just going to be... Just like that. Can go down and take this screw, put it back in its place. And now the handguard will at least be held in place there. So the handguard is held in place, the barrel receiver are all held in place there. And that's just going to make it a whole lot easier. Well, first of all, pay attention to which side you're putting your uh, sling loop on. that you can either knock it right there and use that or you can once again go to your sling loop and use that to knock it back into place Yeah, let's take a look at it here. Make sure it's in all the way. Yeah, that's pretty much there. So now we got our spring there. So that'll go there. And this is going to need to go down. And then back to my crazy ass. This is seriously my plan plan. You'll see that right there go down about even with that. Which will, let's get that. See the one side of this has the hole right there. 
the holes for that. It's got to go on that way. Don't get it backwards. Okay, and then we'll see that this is starting to line up there. So we now take this, loosen this off. All right, and now we'll see as I loosen that off there, that that little bump is back in its place there. So that's in place good. I'll ask a little bit here, this guy. So I'll flip that here. You want to have, you see these lugs right here and here. You want to have that lined up perfectly with those lugs. That will make you put it in like that. That will go in and push it in and down and flip that over. And hey, there you go. We're back together. So there wasn't a whole lot to that. And hopefully that was useful to help you be able to maintenance your firearm. Well, if you found this video useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and a like. You can go down into the comment section and leave any thoughts you have down there. And if you're interested, you can also subscribe to my channel and click the little bell notification to make sure that you catch all the videos that I post so you don't miss anything. I'm Jeremy with Poindexter G and we'll see you next time.